Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is the G.I. Joe Classified Series Shipwreck. Um, <laughs> one of the figures that I, that I didn't have like original I picked up years later in Caboots and things like that. I got out my handy dandy um, G.I. Joe Battle of Order of Battle Volume 1. Um, I think they only did one Order of Battle, but anyway. And Shipwreck, there he is. He's a nice artwork. Um, I'll show that. You can freeze frame and read that. Yep. Does anybody know what his parrot's called? Because I was I was kind of going to look really clever and name his parrot, but I don't know what his parrot's called. So if you know what his parrot's called, comment underneath. Put in the comments under there. Shipwreck's parrot. Yeah. Right. Let's get this bad boy out of the box. So let's have a quick look at the box before we do. There is his doodah thing on the side. Let's scan that if you can. There is some nice artwork of him on the back. He has hair, interchangeable hair, and a parrot. There he is looking really angry on that side there, which I'm guessing is going to be the artwork that's behind him in the box inside. Uh, barcodes and things on the bottom. Jaji on the top. Right, let's quickly through there, out through the bottom. So we have the figure himself and his accessories. I do kind of like this packaging. Some of um, Hasbro's packaging is a bit eh, but this I do like. There is a strange piece of cardboard in there. Yeah, there it is. And his hat is not right. That's why he looks, there we go, looks so strange in the box. Actually, yeah. Um, let me quickly, uh, where did I put the scissors? There they are. Let me see the easy way. There we go. Excellent. Right. Drag him out. There is the nice artwork on the back of him and the parrot. Did he have the parrot in the animated series? I never really got to see Here in the UK, we didn't really get the animated series. I did watch some on on this wonderful platform of YouTube, Hasbro channel, has got lots of the animated series on there, just running like 24 hours. And Shipwreck did seem to be in a lot of episodes. I'm kind of impressed so far. It's a great looking figure. So there we have Extreme. I'm going to try and get that light around there a bit more. There we go. The hat looks a little bit... Where is the box? Um, the hat looks... I suppose on the box you're only looking at in... Sort of from, from that angle. It feels like his head should maybe have come up a little bit more into the top of the hat. But still, a reasonably good likeness. He has a very hairy chest. They've painted on a hairy chest. He is a sailor and all the sailors have hairy chests by the looks of it. That's his hairy chest and where's his treasure chest. Um, nice artwork on the shoulder there. He has a tattoo. A lot of these G.I. Joes have had tattoos. So I'm thinking somebody in the office that designs these has a real thing for tattoos. Gloved hands. There is a little hole in his wrist there for the parrot. Nice blue trousers. The boots are great. We've even got little holes there. Not real holes, but you know where the holes would be to let the air through. Yeah. Does he stand? He's got a, another one with a bit of a Chuck Norris going on there. Looking at that face. Let's see if we can get him. i finding with a lot of these... Was it the other Joe that I did the other day? No, there was somebody I did the other day and the, the, the middle drift didn't... They seem to want to twist to one side. Yeah, he looks. He's he's looking very angry. Oh look, they put it in the box this time. I nearly didn't see it. I'll put that back in the box just so it's safe. Right, the nice little bag. So we'll rip the top off and empty out all his gobbins and we'll put that back in the box. Right, let's just move him out of the way. So he has uh, a rope with a hook on it, which can wrap around him. He has kind of a 
strange, I guess that's some kind of naval pistol. It looks like something a pirate would carry. I kind of like that. And it's double barrel, so it's some kind of sort of shotgun then. Oh, cool. Like a sawn off. Oh. As this, which looks kind of like a Beretta with a pattern on it. Like he's had. Oh, yeah, it's got. Has it got an anchor on it? Yeah, it's got an anchor on there. So it is kind of a. Yeah. Special edition pistol. A hook which has no rope to tie to it, but I'm sure that's what you do with it. There we go. So that's where that goes. Like that. So it has the hook on the end of it. And finally we have the parrot. You can all put the name in afterwards. As I'm, oh, and it's got a peg leg look. Oh, it's peg, peg leg parrot. Is it a peg leg parrot? It's looking into your house. Actually, parrots do it like that. My mum used to have a parrot. Yeah. Right, and then he has his, his, or the head of hair. So let's see what that does. So you pull off ah, his hat. I'm bald. <laughs> and we pop on. That's actually quite a good head of hair. That's a lot of hair to get underneath that hat. I kind of like him like that. He's got to be a pirate. I mean a sailor. So he's got to have his sailor hat. That is a weird. It looks really weird, but then it fits like that and it looks fine. Maybe mm, the hair is longer at the back on this one than it is on that. And it does look a little strange. Let's have a look. It's very easy to swap. Yeah. The hair falls better. I don't know why. But it looks better on that one than that one. Yeah, weird. It looks a little bit like it doesn't go far enough down his neck. Let's look at articulation. So you got up and down, swivel, butterfly joint there, arm up, swivel at the bicep, nice 90 degree and also pinless, pinless joints. I'm doing it over there. Pinless joints, um, swivel in the middle there and Swivel there, the belt does kind of get in the way. There is a nice on his on his belt buckle up, down, also has that slightly dislodged, I don't know what you call it, but you can dislodge his yeah. And then the knee. Not quite a butt kicker, but he gets he gets pretty close. Yeah, I like it. So I'm presuming that this will go. Now, take his, where does it seem? Taking his hair off helps. Put that up like that. Not over there. That went the best way around. Maybe I should have done it the other way. Let's have a look. Is there a door? Everybody ignore me. Goes that way around. <laughs> so just look to the box. There, that's why it even fits better that way around. Right. That goes like that. And we put his... You see, I could edit this stuff out, but I don't. I leave it in there so I look like a complete nut and muppet. That pistol, I presume, will fit in there like so. And then we shall put his... Oh, that's nice. That fits really nice into his hand. So now we have the choice of either peg leg goes are there like that or there like that. I like that this is removable. It makes it a little bit more that you can have in with or without it. I like this figure. That tattoo is great. 
It's a very it's an angry looking shark with a spear through it, I think. Yeah. Wow, these, do you know what? I've kind of fallen out with the Black Series figures because they're, they're, they're not terrible, but they feel like toys. These are great. They are putting so much detail and effort into these, like the tattoos and the markings and the weaponry and just posability is amazing. I suppose they don't have to try to make them look like anybody, which is a, you know, a thing, isn't it? But yep, that is another great figure. Let me just, because somebody will ask. He comes in to the top of his hat at about 16 centimetres and about just a little bit over six inches. We feet together. Yep, yeah, over six inches. So yeah, a very, very nice figure. And I am moving my stuff around. I am creating, I use that loosely, a G.I. Joe shelf. So yeah, so, yeah, so that's it. I think this is, I say, a great figure uh, with a hairy chest and a parrot. What else is it to talk about? Maybe that. That hair just looks a bit weird, but we're only going to see him from the front when he's on the shelf. Yeah. And that pistol's quite cool as well. Yeah. So, let's wind this up. If you've enjoyed this video, what you want to do is hit the like, share and subscribe button down there. All that sort of stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a great day. hope you all have a great night. And me and Shipwreck here, well, we're going to go off and watch some pirate movies. Pirates of the Caribbean, anybody? No, I'm not watching that one. Cutthroat Island? Maybe.